Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 here with Rangers. We're about to take on Real Betis in the Europa League. It's a vital game in terms of our qualification chances. Of course we lost 3-2 in Spain but hopefully at home we do just have that little bit extra to get us over the line. Uh, we'll clear the selection and pick the team from scratch. Alan McGregor continuing in goals of course. The right back will be uh, Flanagan. Centre backs will be Katic and McCauley at this point. He seems to be playing better than uh, Goldson or Worrell. I'll put them the other way around. Uh, the left back. Did Barisic get through the fitness test? Uh, no. Alright, so. Let's see. Lee Wallace is unregistered, so it's going to have to be Flanagan. And we're going to have to rethink the, the right back. Jesus, we're going to have to throw Ross McCrory in at right back, I suppose. It's a big, big day for the young man. Uh, in the midfield, we'll go with Jack and Koulibaly, as usual, the midfield two. On the right-hand side here, it'll be Daniel Candeas, one of our standout performers oops, of the season. Uh, the attacking midfielder is going to have to be either Arfield or Middleton. I'm going to go with Middleton just now. Left hand side is going to be Ryan Kent and of course the striker, our main man, Morelos up there. Uh, the bench will be Fodringham, Goldson, Worrell, uh, <laughs> Arfield, Lafferty, two more. Jeez, oh this is difficult. Houston, just to give us some cover at right back. And Muratovic I suppose as well. So that's a highly depleted squad, really. I mean, we're going to have McGregor, McCrory, McCauley, Katic, Flanagan, Jack, Koulibaly, Candias, Middleton, Kent and Morelos as a team. We need the home crowd here to really spur us on to victory. It's a good Real Betis side, of course, in real life. They just won 4-3 at the Nou Camp against Barcelona. Uh, yeah, pretty. it's the same lineup as we faced over there. Uh, yeah, we're underdogs, lads. Go cause an upset. Let's try that. Um, and we'll just try and encourage them right away, right off the sidelines. Come on, boys, here we go. Jack, good ball out to Candias. It's a decent start passing the ball around. Guardado injured immediately, and then Canales will come on. Uh, he was on the left last time. I think uh, Inui comes on for him this time. Here's Canales with a free kick. And just a sporting goal one up in Turkey against Fenerbahce. Real Betis go 1 0 up in Glasgow against Rangers, and that could be a death blow if we lose this game it's pretty much over in terms of qualification chances so we need to come back Macaulay with a decent long ball uh, Candace laying it off to McCrory nice ball to Jack, he tries a big switch of play, it's a good ball actually to Kent cutting inside on that right foot just pings it over but a decent decent move upfield we do have the majority of the shots today, four to their two. It's just a shame that free kick was a belter. McCrory winning a good header there. Jack to Koulibaly is there an option on the left. Koulibaly goes to Flanagan. Koulibaly back to Katic and Koulibaly again. Well pressed here by Real Betis. Jack out wide to McCrory, just reaches its target. Candias now running, driving centrally. Pings one, but it's an easy save for Paul Lopez. It was on his weaker left foot there, Daniel Candias. Seven shots to their two and we're getting beat. That's hard to take. Now here's a corner. Canales in. William Cavallo across goal. And it's Takashi Inui who scores. And it's just it's just a bit of quality. It's a bit of cutting edge that they have that we're lacking. We taught a bit of a lesson here in truth. I think the best we can hope for at this point, sadly, is to finish third place above Fenerbahce and get a little bit of pride back maybe because it does look like we're going to fall to a defeat here uh, we'll have a look at what we can do, I mean we'll take Middleton off, we'll put Lafferty on he does have a history of scoring goals in these European games so we'll throw him in there and see what he can do, he's also best playing as a pressing forward, we'll leave him as a deep lying forward to try and like the play a bit more maybe uh, I'll bring Arfield on for Ryan Jack, who's struggled a bit. And we'll just ask them to show a bit of passion here. Don't, don't, don't lie down, that's the main thing for me. 
They've clearly got better players than us. Pretty much all of their players would get into our lineup, if not actually all of their players would get into our lineup. Paul Lopez knocks it long. Katic now. Back to McGregor. Sweeps it out. Fenerbahce have equalised now against uh, Sporting, which helps us a little bit. Katic over the top. Lafferty's through. Should square. Doesn't. Goes himself and scores. Sweet. There's a great ball over the top by Katic. It's a lovely finish by Kyle Lafferty. And the two up top really seems to be emerging as an actual viable option now. Come on. Here we go now. Paul Lopez is hitting it long again. McCrory should be when the header does. Fenerbahce have turned the game around and are winning now in Turkey. Bartra goes back to Paul Lopez, knocks it long. Sporting have levelled it. Katic now, decent play not to lose it there. Teo wins it, but only as far as Flanagan into Koulibaly, then Kent. Move it quickly, son. Over the top, Morelos is in. Can he level the game? He can! Once again, we come from 2-0 down to 2 each, but this time, we cannot let them score again. We cannot lose this game. Come on, we need to win this. McCauley now to Candias. What a second-half team we are. Lafferty forward. Uh, junior... Firpo manages to get it off forward to Lo Celso. Here's Joaquin William Cavalio over the top for Sergio Leon. He's in. Oh, and he's blazed it. We needed that. It was very, very good news that he blazed that. Um, we don't really have anyone we can swap out. I mean, I'm going to take Macaulay off for Warrell just to use the subs, just to freshen something up a little bit. Come on, this keeps us in touch. But really getting the win would, would help. Candias in, it's a good ball! Flanagan just over. And Sporting have turned it around again in Turkey and are now ahead of Fenerbahce. 3 2. Come on, pinch it and break. Joaquin, ah, John Flanagan with another yellow card. We're doing to 10 men, and at this point, we're just going to have to try and shut up shop and get the point. That is a damn shame. I wanted. A dramatic winner and it looks like at this point we're gonna have to try and shut up shop here right can anybody be the left back Katic kinda can mmm cool valley can he really do that we don't have any changes left to make though Kent and Candias will both have to drop back uh, Lafferty can kind of drop, do you know what, Lafferty's just going to have to go in the middle as well uh, we're just going to have to go very very defensive here um, aye, we're going to have to time waste frequently, never mind working the ball into the box, passing directness, more direct passing just lump it over the top if we can um, slow the pace down take long kicks for the goalkeeper, when possession's lost regroup when it's one, try and counter still when it's one. You never know, we could pinch it. Uh, much lower line of engagement and a deeper defensive line. Stay on your feet. Mm, slow down the pressing uh, intensity a bit and don't care if they pass it out for the back. There's only two minutes left in the game now, but we've been suckered from 2-2 two -two positions so many times in, in Europe. <sighs> 50 seconds left. Katic heads it away. Morelos will pick it up. Come on, the 10 men here at Arfield. Great ball for Kent. Can he keep it in? Is there a possible sucker punch from us? It's whipped in by Kent. It's away by Sydney. Arfield on again. It's come through. Oh, I think Morelos would have been offside there anyway. But it does come through to Paulo Lopez. He will throw it long for William Cavallo. Lafferty away. Back to Cavallo now. Forward to Joaquin. Skips past a man. Position to cross. Well done, Warrell. Commanding header. Kent hooks it away under 10 seconds remaining it's switched out to Barrigan it's a good ball come on ref save us the referee blows the whistle and it has ended two each uh, good comeback boys there's no much more I can say than that we were 2-0 down at half time I thought we were absolutely done and dusted we come back we get a point if we stop giving teams two goal advantages in Europe then maybe we would actually have a chance of winning one of these games uh, if we look at the group now Sporting have nine, Real Betis have five, Fenerbahce on four, and us on four. If we look at the games remaining, we're hosting Fenerbahce next. Three points in that one is an absolute must. We get three points in that, we move to seven. Assume Sporting will beat Real Betis, they'll be on five. So if 
in the last game, Real Betis and Fenerbahce draw, then we can go. Then we can go through. That's how I see it going. I can't see us getting anything in Portugal, so they would need to draw the last game, and we would need to beat Fenerbahce at Ibrox. That's how it would need to go down, and I think it could go down that way. But it is a big ask. Now, of course, tension turns to Motherwell here. Motherwell in fifth place, doing relatively well for themselves this season. We need to get the victory, the three points. Aberdeen hosting Hibs. It was 1 0 to Aberdeen in real life through Gary Mackay Stephen. How will it go now? 3 2 to Hibs. Of course, this game against Motherwell that we're about to play was the 7 1 victory for Rangers that just happened recently. Hopefully we can replicate something like that. <clears throat> Celtic are probably... In fact, Celtic will be Sunday as well, won't they? Because they're Europa League team as well. Uh, yep, they are away at Livingston. Of course they are. It was a 0-0 draw in real life. rest of the team's playing right now largely of no consequence to us it's us versus Celtic for the title Kilmarnock winning at Hearts they did in real life although not, not in quite dramatic fashion 92nd minute and then a 94th minute uh, penalty to win it in real life it was just a 1-0 victory for Kilmarnock uh, Deke Myers back which is good uh, the tactical briefing will hand off to the assistant We'll change some of the lineup before we play Motherwell, I think. Some players who are not registered for European competition who probably will feature today, unless we get players coming back from injury. Barisic being back would be quite nice. It's bottom side Livingston now hosting Celtic. You expect a comfortable Celtic victory here. 1-0, uh, not comfortably. One Scott Sinclair penalty was all that separated them. Um, Dennis Diekmeyer can get 75 minutes Jordan Houston isn't ready to play alright we'll put Diekmeyer on the bench then uh, in fact no we'll start Diekmeyer ahead of McCrory um, in terms of play Barisic is not ready to come back sadly Kenny McLean can come onto the bench for Warrell I suppose I'll start when we start somebody ahead of McCauley yeah we'll start Goldson ahead of McCauley I think he doesn't prefer a side, does he? No. Kenny McLean starts ahead of Middleton. Eros Gresda can be on the bench ahead of Kyle Lafferty today. I think a two up top is definitely an option I'm going to look at with Lafferty and Morelos because it always seems to work when we're in a pinch. But against Motherwell, 4 2 3 1 should do the business. I still want Kenny McLean to be a success here, God damn it! I need to be vindicated for buying him. Bowman finds Main and Cadden forward to Bowman and Main as they look to rush forward quickly down the middle. It's a ball outside to Taylor Sinclair. It's a good challenge actually by Kandias here. Motherwell had a real chance of getting in early doors. They look like they are going to play Nado with that diamond up front. Flanagan's throws his header away. Diekmeyer now to Koulibaly. Opens up a little bit. He didn't fancy a 40 yarder. Cadden now has it forward to Bowman. Katic pinches it. McLean. Morelos loses it. That's poor play, that. Bigger Amana now to Cadden. Forward for Main. Should be easy for Diekmeyer. Just coming back from injuries. A bit off the pace. And Curtis Main gives Motherwell the lead at Ibrox. Oh, dearie me. At least it's super early. We have a chance to come back quickly. Kandias whips it in. Taylor Sinclair away. Bowman picks it up. The countering seems to be working perfect for Motherwell. Although Kent, Morelos, Kandias hammers it past Trevor Carson into the net. Sixth goal of the season for him. Kandias didn't hit it perfectly there, but all Carson can do is slap it in. Flanagan now. Kandias, McLean, ping it, son. Hit it. Ah, just wide of the post for Kenny McLean. Got to hit the target there for me. But at least we're putting pressure on now after going behind quickly. Candias' free kick now is very tight towards the goalkeeper. It breaks for Morelos, who sweeps it home. 17th goal of the season. 7-1 could be on. I 
They haven't had a shot since that incisive cut his main breakaway. Aaron Taylor Sinclair with a throw now. Cadden picking it up. He's been all over the place, Cadden. Carson now, done. Out for Tate. Bit of a loose touch, nobody to pinch it though. It's over the top for Maine again. Race on with Diekmeyer who this time can win it. Back to the keeper, son. And plays it to Goldson. Back to McGregor. Knocks it long. Rose to Cadden now. Bowman. Koulibaly's challenge. Breaks for Cadden. Oh my days. What a hit, son. What a hit from Chris Cadden. You've got to give him that one. Is he number seven? I don't know. I can't tell. Is he? He is number seven. I wonder what role he has because he's technically playing just in the hole behind the strikers but he's popped up all over the park today. And they've had two shots, Motherwell, and they've scored both of them. Can Diaz now whips it in. Flanagan over the bar. We need another goal here. Come on. Can Diaz now moving it quickly on to McLean. Switching the play. Good ball. Kent now. Got an overlap. Use it. There you go. Flanagan whips it with his unfavoured left. Comes back to him. It's on his right now. McLean. Drive it, son. McLean cuts inside. Shoot. Scores. It's a first Rangers goal for Kenny McLean. Thank God for that. Uh, finally Kenny McLean off the mark for Rangers it is 3-2 at the break let's no get complacent because we've already conceded two stupid goals I think Ryan Kent is going to come off for Glenn Middleton at the moment throw Middleton on Bowman has come off for Connor Salmon Motherwell looking to get two big units up top and it's won by Bigger Amana let's see Connor Salmon, 191 centimetres, 16 strength, big unit, Curtis Main. Curtis Main's actually small, yeah. Although he has 17 strength. He's very good at holding the ball up, but isn't he exactly a massive guy? I think Morelos is relatively similar. Yeah, he's 177 tall, but has 19 strength. Uh, Flanagan now throwing it to Middleton. It's over everybody, and Tate will get rid only as far as Katic. Back to Flanagan. Koulibaly now, space for Jack. Flanagan again into McLean and Flanagan back to McLean back to Flanagan McLean's open again Middleton breaks for McLean can he get a brace he can Kenny McLean go on son Kenny McLean at the double hopefully he can get man of the match Candias is coming off for Grezda and Muratovic will actually replace Alfredo Morelos Muratovic can be a pressing forward too I suppose Excellent. Hopefully we see some performances from these subs here. Players who are on the fringe getting a wee bit of time to shine. You know, look like too much is going on. Hartley now with a free kick from Motherwell. Pings it in deep. Headed off the bar and then eventually away. That was very slack defending on the free kick. We get a man to uh, McHugh now and Rose onto Salmon. And Curtis Main, it's well wide of Alan McGregor's goal, but that was a very shaky moment at the back there. Mother will have been second best by a wide distance today, but we've we've not put them to bed. We are two goals ahead, but every time they actually venture forward, it looks like it could be a goal. Although they are now down to ten for the last couple of minutes as Gail Bigaramana gets sent off. Clean gets a booking to go with his two goals, but it is over. It is four two to Rangers. At Ibrox, three points in the bag. Man of the match for Kenny McLean. That is actually the thing that I'm most happy about in this episode. Finally a performance from Kenny. We remain two points behind Celtic. Nine wins, two draws. Uh, Glenn Middleton will be getting a pay rise to 2.7k soon. Fine, whatever, don't care. He looks like a pretty good player. Um, maybe want to use him as our starting left winger when Kent goes back to Liverpool. Well, listen... It was a mixed episode. The Real Betis game in particular was very mixed because we did ultimately get a point out of that one which keeps us in contention. The other game with Sporting winning in Turkey went pretty much the way we would want it to go. We could still sneak through behind Sporting but we would need a favour uh, from the last game in Turkey, Fenerbahce against Real Betis. We would need a favour there and we also need Sporting uh, to manage to dominate uh, the rest of the you know, to, to beat Real Betis uh, in a, a strong fashion. Are Real Betis away or at home against Sporting? They're at home against Sporting, so Sporting will need to do the business away in Spain. 
uh, and we need to do the business obviously at home against Fenerbahce but before that we will be playing Livingston it's a very important game bottom side though at home you expect to get the, the three points they will probably rotate as well five days before the Fenerbahce game nothing too extreme but maybe we'll try and start Kyle Lafferty up top maybe even Lafferty and Muratovic we'll decide when we get there it'll depend how depending on injuries and stuff like that but listen I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have done please drop down below and leave a like on the video glad to see that you know, a lot of people seem to be enjoying the series um, subscribe of course to the channel to follow the series as we go on but mostly just thank you guys for watching this and I will see you next time when we're at Ibrox again for both games this time taking on Livingston and then Fenerbahce in a game that will make or break our Europa League group stage